Hey guys, what's up? This is Rory Cocker for Right Trigger, bringing you the first in a new series of videos for the site where we take a look at Wii games running natively on the Wii console itself, and then again at a much higher resolution on the Dolphin emulator. If you haven't already done so, switch to 1080p mode now and view full screen for the best effect. What is Dolphin? Ok so Dolphin is a Wii and Nintendo GameCube emulator for Windows and Mac, and essentially what it does is allow you to play your games in high definition. Now that's obviously a very simplified way of looking at things, and if you guys would like to know more about the technical side of it, then please read the description below. Dolphin also features support for Wii remotes, nunchucks, classic controllers and the classic controller pro. You can also use an Xbox 360 or Playstation 3 controller if you so desired. So what you're looking at right now is Xenoblade Chronicles running on the Wii at 480p. Undoubtedly it will actually look better than this when you played through on your TV due to brightness correction and scalers found in modern HD TVs that are designed to clean up standard definition signals. Nevertheless, you can see an abundance of jaggies and it's just generally suffering from a poor image quality, which is a shame because this game is gorgeous. The game launched in Europe in 2011, but it was a topic of much discussion after Nintendo announced it had no plans to bring the game to the North American market. Along with The Last Story and Pandora's Tower, Xenoblade was involved in a fan campaign known as Operation Rainfall, where American RPG fans pressurised Nintendo into localising the game. Ten months later, Xenoblade launched in North America, though by this time a lot of fans had already imported it. For those who didn't, I'm sure it was worth the wait because this game is simply one of the best JRPGs in about ten years. Ok so we'll continue to show the standard definition footage up until about the halfway mark where we'll fade out to black and then the next time you see the game it will be running on the Dolphin emulator. There'll be an on screen prompt to let you know when this has happened, but if you honestly can't tell then I highly recommend a visit to the opticians. So here we have Xenoblade running on the Dolphin emulator at an internal resolution of 2560 by 2112 which is actually higher than most TVs or monitors can display. The image is then downsampled to match the maximum resolution of the display which is in my case 1920 by 1080 or 1080p. Dolphin also allows you to apply anti-aliasing to games even if they weren't running any in the first place. This gets rid of any jagged edges and you get this super clean look that you can see here. This is the PAL version of the game, which ran at 25 frames per second on the Wii. There's a patch you can download that allows you to run the game at true 30 frames per second, so not only does the game look much better on Dolphin, we're also boosting its performance. If you want to run Dolphin yourself, you might just about get away with an Intel Core 2 Duo, if it's clocked high enough, at least 3GHz. But you should be looking at an i3 as a minimum, and ideally an i5. We're running an Intel Core i5 2500K series processor, at a clock speed of 3.8 GHz, an ASUS GTX 560Ti 1GB GPU and 8GB of RAM. Now this setup is enough to run most games at optimal quality, but if we try to run Super Mario Galaxy 2 at these resolutions with anti-aliasing, then even this rig will give you frame drops. Dolphin is highly CPU dependent and is heavily optimised for Intel processors. An AMD bulldozer might be able to run Battlefield 3, but you'll probably get frame drops if you're using it in Dolphin. Well that's all for now folks, use the comment section below to put forward your ideas on which game we should compare next. I've already covered Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 3 Corruption in previous videos on other channels, which I'll link to in the description below, but apart from those 5 games we're good to go. Not all games will be suitable due to compatibility with Dolphin, for example the Star Wars Rogue Squadron titles for GameCube simply do not work. Also, games such as the Resident Evil Remake for GameCube feature pre-rendered backgrounds which would not benefit from Dolphin. Thank you so much for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and check out righttrigger.com for more.